So the first thing is that a lot of Republicans had thought that 2012 was going to be uh, 2010 redux, that the voter anger that was experienced and expressed in 2010 was deep, it was sustained, and most importantly was in favor of them as opposed to abo opposed to the particular circumstances that were happening in 2010 uh, and uh, opposition to President Obama. I think um, it's pretty clear that that was not the case, that uh, uh, the strongly pro-Republican sentiment that was manifest in the polls throughout most of 2010 pretty much started to dissipate by the beginning of 2011, it was pretty much gone, and we were back to 50-50 nation. Uh, by the middle of 2011, the state elections in Virginia that year pretty much uh, ran out as if uh, it were a typical non-wave year. Uh, and that's what the generic ballots show, is that we're back to a, uh, neither a Democratic wave nor a Republican wave. And I think what uh, 2010 did, uh, and in retrospect, was uh, re-energize a active, principled Republican Party, which summoned up the 50-50 break that uh, Michael's been talking about for well over a decade now. And so we're back to where we were in 1996, which is a nation divided against itself that can't quite make up its mind which of the two competing directions it wants to go in.